Hey, hey guys! guys! Hi. We are so excited today to be having our first ever local <laughs> Down Syndrome event. We're super excited to celebrate Down Syndrome with some local families. We've got glitter tattoos and face paint and hair chalk. We've got a jolly jump coming. Yeah. We've oh, got yeah. cornhole. All kinds of fun stuff. So we invite you guys to join us. But before we get into it, don't forget, subscribe to our channel, hit those post notifications, and give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> when our daughter was born, she surprised us with her Down syndrome diagnosis. And at that time, we had no idea what our lives would look like. But we quickly discovered extra needs bring extra joy. Through the good times and the challenges. And the adventure and the routine. We're learning to live this life to the fullest. With, with a, a little, little extra. All right, Jolly Jumper just got here. Now everybody's gonna know where we are because we told them we'll have a Jolly Jumper. So we're gonna get this thing set up. I'm getting attacked by bubbles. Everybody's here and everyone's hanging out and having a lot of fun. Seems like uh, it's going pretty well. We're pretty excited. This year, like we said, is just the kickoff year. Uh, we're hoping to grow every year, make it bigger and bigger into hopefully like a buddy walk would be great. So today has been super productive. We're so having so much fun making so many new connections. People obviously that Jill's been involved with online, but I haven't really met anybody, so this is awesome to meet everybody. And uh, the cool thing is that every there's a lot of people that have been coming, and people have been here for a while, and then they pack up and they go, and then more people come. So it's kind of been like a revolving door all day, and we really we're really having a lot of fun. So yeah, let's uh, get back to the party. Are you guys having fun? Yeah! All right! <laughs> oh, correct! Careful, Cell, careful! Hey! <laughs> I let Estelle paint my face. Wow, that's great. Yeah. We're so happy. <laughs> what is he painting?
oh my gosh, dead tired. But so worth it, don't you think? I think so. It was so much fun. So many people showed up. People that I've never met before, people that I didn't really even know were gonna come. So we had given flyers to a, one of Estelle's therapists and so someone that showed up, they said they got the flyer from their therapist. So I was like, ah, it, it worked. worked. <laughs> so that was super cool because like, there was some like word of mouth and then some from our Facebook group and then some like that through the flyers to our therapist. And so it was just really cool to meet a lot of new people we haven't met before. Some people thought we were way more official than we are. They were like, oh, is this like a nationwide thing? And I was like, no, it's literally it's just us. <laughs> like, it's just us in this desire for community in our own area. Started a Facebook group, started adding people to it, started finding people like at Target and being like, be in our Facebook group. Yep. And then word of mouth. And then the, the group that had been meeting like before, we always heard about this like group. There used to be a group, there used to be a group. And so they kind of um, have been really instrumental in like connecting all of the people they already had in their contacts together. And so we kind of had these like two groups forming together and it just felt like a real thing. It, I don't know, it, it felt a like real a thing. real thing. So the, the thing that I was really stoked on too was to hear how everybody wanted to help out. Everybody was like, oh, did you guys do this all by yourselves? Like, we all need to get together and do this, you know? And that was our whole intent, was to yeah. do it first, and then from there grow into like, a, you know, a bigger yeah. uh, group, organization. an organization. We kind of just like wanted to rip off the band-aid and be like, we're doing this, we're a thing. Yeah. We're, we're a presence in Ventura, and we're here, and jump on board, because we're doing this thing. So, we're starting a local group, you guys. It's so like, uh, I don't know, heartwarming, you know? It's beyond, it's like a dream come true. Yeah. It's like a realized dream come true. From when we had Estelle and there was no community here and I was like, why does Ventura have nothing to actually be there and be like, now it's happening. And just like so many new people that I haven't met before and it was super chill and fun and positive and happy and just yep. everything that I've been dreaming of. And so the possibilities now in my head are endless and I couldn't be more excited about it. Um, yeah, so here's what I have to say to you. If you are a parent to a child with Down syndrome and there's no local group in your area, just start one. Just start one. Start with a Facebook group or an Instagram or any kind of like place you can send people and then literally when you see someone in public and they have a kid with Down syndrome, just be like, hey, let's be friends. Just say, hey friend. Hey friend, <laughs> come check out our Facebook group. And that's how we've started. Yeah. So it's not in my character to approach a stranger and be like, hey, does your kid have Down syndrome? Let's be friends. But something about having a kid with Down syndrome has put that as part of my character. Yeah. I don't know if I'd approach people for like other things, but hey, if you're lacking local community, start the community yourself. Yeah. That's, it's hard and it's taken four years COVID was a factor that our first official meetup was supposed to be the week that the world shut down. So it's taken a long time. There's been some supernatural delays, but now I feel like it started, it's happening, and it's all just gonna grow from here. It's really cool. And I love that they're so eager. They're like, let's go to the hospitals. I'm like, yeah, let's go to the hospitals. Let's go to doctor's offices. Let's go to all the groups. And let's just say, come, come hang out with us. Come hang out with us and let's do this together. Yeah. Because a Down syndrome diagnosis can be scary, but the second you get around a group of people that have kids with Down syndrome, it's not scary anymore. It's like so encouraging, so inspiring, and just like everyone's just like, we feel so blessed and so lucky and like this is amazing and it's just so hopeful and it's so fun and everything else. So community is everything you guys and I could not be more excited than I am right now. So super, super stoked. What a great way to kick off Down Syndrome Awareness Month by bringing it to our own local community. We look forward to seeing what you guys are doing for Down Syndrome Awareness Month. We're not done yet, guys. We have a lot more fun coming your way. So don't forget, subscribe to our channel. Hit those post notifications so you catch all of our videos. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.